What is going on guys? Welcome to 53rd Ruby tutorial. This is Shrex from Smartherd. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about freezing objects. It's a very small topic guys, nothing to worry about. Here I have written the syntax, syntax to freeze an object and syntax to check whether the object is frozen or not. It returns actually a boolean value. Now, in some cases there is a need to freeze the object that is if you freeze the object you can't make further change to that particular object now after that in order to check whether that object is frozen or not you have to write object dot frozen question mark you are asking is this object frozen then it returns a boolean value either true or false like that now in order to save time I have just written a piece of code I have defined a class mouse and I have declared a getter setter for tail underscore length and height. Now, this is actually the instance variable, and we are assigning t value to this tail underscore length and h value to height of mouse, like this. Now, let's continue our coding. Let us define an object, let's say mouse equal to capital mouse dot new. Let's send some parameters like 5 centimeter, comma 10 centimeter, like this. 5 is the tail length and 10 is the height of the mouse. Yeah, let's put as mouse dot tail length. Yeah, then put as mouse dot height. Now let's save it and execute it. Yeah, 5 and 10. Mouse tail length is 5 centimeter and mouse height is actually 10 centimeter. Now it's not centimeter guys it's actually units yeah because centimeter I have not defined here so huge mouse in meters also yeah now let's freeze this mouse object by using mouse dot freeze right now let us check whether this mouse object is freezed or not if mouse dot frozen question mark I have to write here end also yeah then put s yes mouse is frozen right else put s mouse is free to move like this now let's save it now and execute it yes you can see yeah mouse is frozen this is because I have here freezed this mouse this mouse object now and again here I'm asking is this mouse object is frozen it is returning a true value so yeah mouse is frozen is executed now let us try to change this mouth parameters like let's change its tail length and height now let's use our setter to set the value mouse dot tail length equal to let's say 6 mouse dot height equal to let's say 12 yeah now let's print these values let's just copy it control C control V now let's save it and execute it yeah here we go we getting an error this error is just because can't modify the frozen mouse runtime error yes guys because we have freezed this mouse here that is why we are not able to change the value of the same object which we have frozen earlier so this block of codes will give an error like this so pretty simple guys how to freeze an object object dot freeze then how to check whether the object is frozen or not object dot frozen question mark like this so catch you guys in the next tutorial this is shrakes from smartherd signing off and please don't forget to subscribe please support us in our way you can please leave a comment below my video and also like my facebook page thank you